here at the factory in Adelaide, we make about 1,400 cookers every day. The range of products includes freestanding product and built-in product. The consumer knows us as three main brands, Electrolux, Westinghouse and Chef. So I've been with Electrolux just over 20 years here at Dudley Park and about eight years ago we started a new introduction of, of automation and technology with a press line purchase. We purchased a tandem press line, um, five presses and seven robots um, with ABB robots in a, in a joint purchase with Manzoni and ABB um, and that's proved to be extremely reliable and consistent and makes our components at a really competitive price. We've also used ABB robots for cavity coating enamel, so the application of porcelain enamel to the oven cavities is now done with four ABB robots. Our latest application of ABB robotics is in the next generation door bonding facility. Uh, there was a requirement for a new door of a plastic construction. There are four robots in the new cell. One looks after trims, one looks after glass, one for columns, and one is the outfeed robot. The trim robot picks up a trim off the conveyor with the camera to make sure it's the right trim to go on the door that we're making, qualifies that trim, and then pre-treats it, and then lays it on the assembly table. The glass robot picks up the outer door glass off a stack of glass and locates it accurately on a, on a table. It identifies that it's the right piece of glass using uh, a camera to check the right part number and then takes it to a, a barcode label printer where it puts a barcode label on it and takes it to the glue nozzle, applies glue and lays that onto the assembly table. The column robot picks up a pair of columns, takes that to the plasma treating head, transfers it to the glue head um, where it applies the glue and then lays those columns on top of the piece of glass on the assembly table. The outfeed robot picks the door off the assembly table and places it into the curing oven. The curing oven then clamps the trim and glass assembly together and goes through the curing oven for 20 minutes at 50 degrees C. When that cured door is finished, again it comes out of the curing oven, the outfeed robot picks it up and puts it into the buffer. About an hour after the door's made, a signal comes from the assembly line that says that door's required to be made and put onto a product. So the outfeed robot picks the door out of the buffer and puts it on the outfeed conveyor for final assembly and then onto the product for final fitting to the product. In selecting the design solution for the next-gen door cell, um, we chose robots over a mechanical solution because reliability was one of the most important things that we needed. We built this facility right next to the assembly line, so it needs to be reliable. We need to be able to maintain it and keep it operating. So reliability is critical for us. What the robots do is a single robot can perform five or six different functions, whereas if we'd used a mechanical solution, we would have had a mechanical solution for each action that it required. The robots are able to do five or six different things um, with one piece of equipment. So the flexibility of the ABV robots is fantastic. The next gen door facility makes all of our doors in a single shift. We used to make doors over two shifts and store them and have to put them in trolleys and, and carry them down to the assembly line. We had 24 hours worth of stock of doors in the system. Now we make the doors right adjacent to the assembly line and it's less than three hours from when we pick up a piece of glass off a, off a pallet to when the door's made, assembled, fitted to the product and the product's packed. So we've really reduced our work in progress of doors. We're really happy with the results that we're getting from this new door. Since we started production in October last year, the service call rate for door-related issues has dropped by 75%. So we're really pleased that we fit our, our quality improvement targets. Um, the investment for the door facility is around a million and a half dollars and the payback of the entire project was about three years. Another important focus for us 
at Electrolux is improving the safety on site. Part of that philosophy is reducing the manual work that's being done by people. Robots have been a significant contributor to how we improve the safety on site.